Another day, another dollar. Like, like a, like a dollar, but it's dollar, mandala. There's more mandalas. Has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little us does. Hey folks, and welcome back to episode 3 of Mandela Madness. Now, today, we've got some pretty mad stuff happening, and I'm gonna jump straight into it. Um, we've got 23 new effects, according to a guy named Laszlo, or at least his channel is called I Am Laszlo, so let's not waste any time and see what these 23 new exciting developments are, and uh, let's do a drink every time you've never heard of one before. You guys ready to hear 23 more Mandela effects? It's gonna be pretty wild. Hey, like this one. So the, an air rifle is a mandala effect right now, or have you got a point that you're making here? Crossman, remember Crossman? I don't actually remember Crossman. So now there's one S. Crossman, yeah. Sit tight, we got 23 to go. Okay, so he said 23 new mandala effects. Counting this one, there's 23 more, so there's 24. Okay. This shit's gonna have nuts in it. What's the real meaning of life? You've been deceived in Chillafont. Breaking quantum physics. Exposing darkness. How do you... How do you expose darkness? As soon as you shine a... If you shine a light on darkness, it's not dark anymore. You can't really... <laughs> you can't expose darkness. You can point out that there is darkness, I suppose. I, I, maybe I'm looking into it too much. Keep rolling. I am Laszlo. Well, it's, it's, to be fair, it's a more creative name than my channel. Years ago, a race of hyper-intelligent, pan-dimensional beings got so... So he's playing Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh man, this goes on. Just fast-forwarding this. How long is this? So he wastes 2 minutes and 40 seconds of his video playing a clip from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy don't really know what the point is that he's getting at, except maybe he's... Uh, okay. Uh, he's got a D-Wave computer, which I assume is a, a quantum computer. And now he's got a clip of Family Guy. Oh my god, so transparent. Well, the theory states that there are an infinite number of universes coexisting with ours on parallel dimensional planes. Four minutes, 14 seconds, <laughs> he's back. He better have something damn good to say. Did you know this new moth? It's called the Donald Trump moth. I'm not even kidding. It's called the Neopalia Donald Trumpy moth. And it was just found this year, 2017. How is this a mandala effect? Keeping count, that's two mandalas. Number two. Okay, according to him, this is number two. The Arid Wolf. It looks like a hyena, but it's actually... Did he just say hyena? Like, with an extra vowel? They are pretty damn cute. But it still looks like a hyena. Did he pronounce it, it wrong again? Hyena. Okay, he got it right. Shut up. <laughs> Did he just tell me to shut up? You know you can edit your videos, Laszlo. You don't need to put in the mistakes that you make. I, I myself edit out a crap ton of stuff that I didn't mean to say. Seems like we're talking about animals, let's talk about the shoebill bird. Like, this thing is ginormous, it's massive, it looks like a freaking monstrosity. It could probably eat your hand off if you wanted it to, but you don't want that. That's what oh, that's, that's what Zelda, uh, Skyward Sword Zelda based the Loftwing on. I should know this is one of my favorite games. Basically, the inspiration for the Loftwing was the shoe, sh the shoe bill that he's calling it. Um, so this is, this game's been out since 2011. So far, we haven't really <laughs> brushed on what I'd consider a mandala effect. Um, really, he's just pandering his ignorance to us all. But hey, maybe uh, this is number number three according to him. Let's keep going. Everybody's saying that the Mandela effect is evil. In my opinion. 
what evil has happened from the Mandela effect? What what has happened that's so evil that we can't handle? That's a pretty good point. Um, he's actually now he's talking my language. There's been no perceivable evil except for a lot of people making money on YouTube videos like this for bullshit. That's I, I see that as being a, a bit of a manipulation. But hey, we'll we'll let him keep going. Let's see where his thoughts take him. Everything that's ha happened in this Mandela effect, it's all like people have been taken back from the dead. We have new species, we have new logos, we have new things. Like, how is that evil? If anything, I think God's just showing off. He's not, this, it's not the end of the world. It's not satanic. If God wants to show off and show us and try to wake us up, then let him. I am God. Hey, here's a sunset. <laughs> here's a platypus. Somebody, somebody sent me a video of a massive bird storm happening in Texas. A what? It's a huge storm. A bird storm. And these birds are going everywhere. Uh, wouldn't you call that a swarm or a migration? And they're messing with cars and traffic. Hey, that's pretty crazy. Is that a mandala effect? But did you know that the day after, there was a whole bunch of tornadoes in the same area? What do these birds have to tell us about the electromagnetic field on the planet? Apparently in this case there was a bird swarm in Texas and the following day there were a sort of record number of tornadoes that appeared um, around the area of Houston. Houston is where the bird swarm was. Is this proof of a mandala effect that birds use common sense and their instinct to sort of vacate an area before a huge storm hits? And they've always done that in my opinion. I mean I've never never been in a tornado. Let's see what's next. A tree's my ass. Things before events happening on Earth? Yeah. Brian, look what I won! Well, Another we family the guy clip the competition. Wait, you bred a pig? Sure did. Most genetically perfect one in the contest. So I guess he's using this clip to highlight that um, <laughs> the animals have changed somehow. If we go back to the um, duckbill platypus, uh, the shoebill, shoebill bird, and um, that hyena cat that I've already this is so mind-numbing I can't even remember what the fuck it was called um, yeah this is this is the point he's trying to make using Family Guy here's a list of all these new animals that are found just this year in the last few weeks so he's got a list of animals here uh, I'm gonna just play it in a box right over here for you um, real quick and now um, because I have the resources available right in front of me to Check the validity of found just this year in the last few weeks. Uh, let's just let's just see how how upfront he is and how real these are. Uh, I'll leave links to whatever I happen to find down below, and you can check for yourself whether or not he's telling the truth about stuff coming out this year or being discovered this year, which could be proof of a mandala effect, or whether or not he's just a f ignorant fuckwit. Right, so this first image appeared in 2012, and it's a recreation of what they believe a feathered dinosaur would have looked like. With number two, this one looks like it goes back to around 2011, claiming it was washed up in the tsunami in Japan following those March earthquakes that they had. But the link I've actually found here links to a website that actually debunks that and traces the picture all the way back to 2003. Okay, this one looks like it appeared in a list of 21 bizarre creatures, which was posted on the 28th of October 2014. It's a mantis shrimp, which sounds terrifying. This horned beetle was discovered in South America in 2012. This is called a Pippa Pippa. It's a toad which was discovered in 1758 by Carl Linnaeus. It seems that this first appeared on the internet on the 28th of July 2010 as an unidentified sponge which was photographed eight days prior to it being posted. Um, it is in fact a white sea sponge. This is a Sumatran rhino. Uh, this particular image has been floating around from at least 2011. This one I actually can't find. Google Images says it might be a jellyfish of some kind. It looks like some kind of luminescent spider. Hey, we might actually have a mandala here. You guys better drink. This one here is called a panda ant, and I already know this one because it's on the same list as the mantis shrimp from before. And also points to you if you notice the penis snake. This is a pink-handed fish from Australia that appeared in an article in Kotaku in June 2010, comparing it to World of Warcraft creatures. This one looks like it appeared on a Japanese website. I have no idea what's happening here except for the fact that it's got a date there, which is in 2014. 
Now this is a bat that was found in Asia in 2014. These slugs are from Australia and it looks like they're dated back to 2013. These are frogfish that have been around since March of 2012. These little guys were one of 46 new species which were originally discovered in 2011. And this thing was found in 2014 in the Gulf of Mexico. This thing appears on a weird Italian website where people look to be dining on the bugs, uh, which is a thing. Uh, and this is from October of 2015. This is another frogfish. Um, this picture goes back to 2013. This is a tube-nosed bat that was discovered in 2010. This particular image I've traced back to a 2013 BuzzFeed article where it was used as the title of number 14 in a list of 16 reasons why the naked mole rat will take over the world. Uh, this is called an acorn worm which appeared in an article in 2010 of 10 strange deep sea creatures. This appears in an article in the world's weirdest insects on a website named the world's best ever published in November 2013. So given that this video from Laszlo was released in February of 2016 and all of these examples, that's 21 out of 22 examples in total, I've been able to locate and have dated back way further than the time frame he suggests, it kind of throws into question his integrity. Well, I mean, it doesn't kind of, it definitely does, <laughs> because he doesn't seem to be able to give you any straight facts here in saying that Let's go through the rest of this video, which we're only a third of the way through. One of them has fiber optics coming out of his ass. What the fuck kind of... So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! Okay, saving grace here from this video. They've got a clip from Brass Eye. Um, that was Simon Pegg with the whole technology. Um, if you need any kind of cure after watching this video, I recommend looking up Brass Eye. Watch the drug episode. I think that's episode two. Fantastic. Totally amazing. A long time ago I was told by Einstein, not himself, but a guy told me about Einstein's quote and he said that we have four years when the bees go extinct. That's all the time we have left for humanity is four years. Okay, so I've known about this one for a long time because let's be honest, we've all got that aunt who posts this on Facebook. There's no proof that this quote was ever said from Einstein. So what is happening with our bees? Lately, I've been getting really mad about English. What are we doing with our English? Well, luckily, he never made it through the 2017 election. It looked like he was going to win, but then basically the, the rest of the parties all conglomerated together and said, we've got the majority vote if we join together in a coalition and um, basically National is out. And so English is still the leader of National, but he's, he's no longer prime minister. So that's good. Unless you're not talking about New Zealand politics, in which case, let's continue the video. Like... I feel like we're on a planet that doesn't give a, a crap about English anymore. We're just... English is just the second language now? Okay, so he's talking about the language. <laughs> Let's see what he's got to say about English and why no, he seems to think no one gives a crap about it. Because John Deere? You guys ever seen a John Deere tractor or know John Deere? It's a pretty popular brand. You might know about it. But now it's John Deery. If you gave a crap about English, you'd know that you can spell the surname deer with an e at the end and still pronounce it deer, which is why their insignia is a deer. Oh, this is painful. Not John Deere. John Deere. John Deere. John Deere. I don't care about English anymore. Do you? If you read his description section of the video, uh, it'd be quite clear that he doesn't really care about English anymore uh, since he's abandoned it. Totally. How about I go to the patent office and buy a whole bunch of patents for John Deere? Not John Deere, just John Deere. I'll be rich. Well, first of all, you'd only be able to buy one patent for John Deere because it's only one name. And secondly, you can't really get rich just by buying a patent. You need to actually produce some sort of products or something to go with that patent. And um, I'm pretty sure that if you're trying to make tractors and sell them under the name John Deere, you would get sued the fuck out of you. All right, introducing the all new 2017 Ford Mustang. Wait for it. Station wagon. Why is that such a shocking thing? People like having room in the boot. I like having room in the boot. We call them boots here, not trunks. I'm going to go to a Ford dealership and I'm going to say, sir, I'm, I just, I have so much money, but I really want like the best Mustang you can possibly buy. But I'm not looking for any ordinary Mustang. 
I'm looking for a Mustang. Station wagon. Then that dealer would be able to sell you a, f a Mustang station wagon because as you've proven, they are a thing. So I was wondering if you guys have ever been to JCPenney. No. Because it looks like JC Penene to me. Really? Is that how Penene looks like to you? Penene would be spelt like this. But what if I was from the other side? What if my friend was from the other side and we had proof that... What? You have a friend? <laughs> I don't believe that you have any friends. I would only see you in a photo with this guy. That it was just JC Penny, not JC Penne. Well, he's just chilling in a mall and this is what it looks like. Yeah, seriously. JC Penny, not Penne. You know what? Looking at this, it actually looks like there is an E there. <laughs> Alright, let's look into this one. So I don't know how valid this is, but I have found a YouTube video um, where this image appears and there are some people in the comment section who claim to be part of a group where this was uploaded and, and the guy was booted from the group because it was quite clear that it was a Photoshop job because of the phantom E that you can see over top of the Y. Uh, I don't know how much I buy into that, um, but there's three or four people within that group that seem pretty pretty convinced and they look like they are uh, Mandela Effect enthusiasts, part of the Mandela Effect community, so um, pff, who, who knows. Does anybody like sweet tarts anymore or candy? I do. I like sweet arts, but according to history, it's always been sweet arts. We don't even have those here. I, I would argue, I would argue that the the two tones on the T would indicate that it's just two T's that have been merged together, but they are two separate T's because one's pink and one's blue. It's a it's a clever it's a clever way of putting it. Because we don't use English anymore. Because English is for suckers. Am I too old? I don't get this reference. What does 22 Jump, Jump Street have to do with the, the phrase suckers? You would think that most people like hamburgers and Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. But in this reality, everybody loves Worcestershire sauce. It must be what the hobbits eat with their peace pipe in the Shire. No, it's, it's named after Worcestershire. This sauce was first made in the city of Worcester, England. Sure is the British equivalent to our counties here in America, so this sauce is simply named for the region from which it comes, Worcestershire, where sure sounds just like the state name, New Hampshire. For anybody who drives a vehicle, I'm pretty sure that's probably over 60% of you. Do you remember what it said in your mirror? You have two mirrors in your car, left and right. And what did it say? Mine said nothing. Well, go look at your car, because it says objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Oh, it doesn't even fucking. Does anyone remember objects in mirror? Maybe I don't know closer if listens than they to appear? the band called the Monkeys. Megadeth in the '60s, or is it Megadeth? Oh, I'm not done. I'm not pet done. Cemetery, yet. or is it pet cemetery? It's pet cemetery, and if you did any research into it, you would know that the children in the book make the name. Cemetery with an S because they can't spell because they're dumbass children. Screw English. I'm done. I quit. So I've done research in the Civil War. Why have you done that? Why? Don't ask me why. Okay, I will not ask you why. You do seem like the kind of person that has a lot of time in your hands to, to be educate yourself. So I, th I think that's a good thing. I think before you start with looking into the Civil War, you should probably start with some of the other subject matter in your video that's fucking obvious and right in front of you. I'm getting angry. I'm sorry. I'm getting angry. But... HD Civil War photos. The technology that exists now is like equivalent to the Civil War photos we have. HD Civil War photos. What the fuck are you talking about? Photos that were taken in the Civil War era. You know, might not have been a, a digital camera or a cell phone. They were taken on film. Film has infinite quality because you can enlarge it as much as you want by moving the light and the projector further away from the canvas that you're projecting it onto. So, of course, if you dug up some really well-preserved films from way back in the 1800s, you could get some really high-resolution pictures. They didn't have cameras like that back in 1950. So how is that possible? It's a conspiracy. Color photos didn't come out till recently. Like in the last few years. How many few years are you talking about when you talk about color photos? Because color photos have been around since 
I think at least the 60s. So a quick Google image search of that image has found a link to Business Insider Australia. Amazing American Civil War photos turned into glorious colour. Colour photography may not have been invented until the 1930s, but that hasn't stopped an active group of Redditors from looking into the chain to change the past. On the Colorized History subreddit, Redditors use photo manipulation to add color to historical black and white images. Um, so that's how they've recolored this one. Or, 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 hold on, it's a conspiracy. How is this possible? Why is this happening? Is this a conspiracy? Remember that movie Borat? You know? Do you know how inaccurate that movie is? Yes, oh, yes, it's inaccurate because it's a satire. It's satirical, which is a concept you don't seem to fucking get. Or you get it so well that you're trolling us real bad right now, and I'm just, I'm just feeding you. What makes this movie funnier is the fact that it's so inaccurate because Kazakhstan is actually really nice. Question: Was New Zealand on the west side or the east side? Well, if you're talking in reference to Australia, then we're on the east side. We're definitely on the east side. Because apparently, people have proof that New Zealand was on the east side. <laughs> I have proof that New Zealand is on the east side, because we're on the east side. You've even got a map showing it's on the east I'm side. I'm remembering The Lord of the Rings being filmed on the east side of Australia in New Zealand. That's because it was filmed on the east side of Australia in New Zealand. I'm, I'm physically here right now. We're still on the east side of Australia. Unless, of course, you go from the west coast all the way around. F fuck me days. Emergency broadcast. I'm really sorry to do that. That was a really lame joke um, that I've actually lifted from Laszlo. I had to put it in here because this video is just getting out of control. You know, it's currently at 22 minutes. So this is post-production, Nick. I felt I had to step in here and do something about the time. Um, we've still got 7 minutes and 35 seconds of Laszlo's video to get through. And when I was recording this on the night, I ran out of beer and oh, in a long, probably bad move, switched to straight whiskey. So a few days ago, I actually re-recorded a proper outro to this video, um, which I sound probably a lot more upbeat and happy. Um, and that's because I hadn't been listening to Laszlo drone on for several hours in a row. So before I play that for you, we're just going to really quickly breeze through the last couple of mandala effects that he wants to talk about um, supplemented by some commentary from drunk production nick enjoy did marilyn monroe's mole move people who get piercings for a monroe get it right here that's a camera phone they flip the images how's that possible now we have duracell batteries but not just any ordinary duracell batteries duracell a a a a if if one of you could tell me what I could put my quadruple A battery into, you should let me know because I've never seen one in my life. But what do I put it into? <laughs> you have seen one because you just posted a bunch of images in it. I have one inside my Surface Pro Pen. If you really need to see it, Laszlo, here it is. So it's a real thing. <laughs> Let's talk about science. Californium, Einsteinium, Krypton. So basically, California, Einstein and Superman got together and they changed our periodic table, or am I just really bad at high school? I'm gonna go with the idea that you were really bad at high school. Now, I'm not one to openly mock people in these videos, but you're kind of pushing me to an edge here. The fact that you appear to be living in what I can only assume is a trailer kind of highlights that you might have been pretty bad at high school. I'm sorry, that's pushing it a bit too far. But I will say, if you don't live in that trailer and you just use it for work and stuff, don't try and make any blue meth, because if you're that bad at science that you don't recognize three of the main elements from the periodic table that was in use when you were in high school, unless you're just really fucking old, don't do it, because you'll, you'll block I've, I've lost the point of my joke. I've lost the point of my joke. It was going to be a Breaking Bad reference. Um, oh God. Maybe Einstein is back from the dead. If you want to talk about Einsteinium, it was named after Einstein after it was discovered in the 1950s. Can I get Californium to go? You could get Californium to go. I would not advise it, because according to this, it stops the production of red blood cells. But if that's what you want to do, I, I would, yeah, go ahead and do it. I'm not going to stop you. What was the cause of death? Krypton. <laughs> if you want to talk about Krypton, it's a noble gas. We've known about it for ages, buddy. It's used in lights and shit. The test is, how many presidents in your country died? 
from assassination. No presidents died in my country from assassination. If you said JFK, you're correct. If you said Lincoln, you're also correct. If you said James A. Garfield, you're also correct. If you said William McKinley, you're also correct. You're all correct. Who's James A. Garfield and William McKinley? You've got a fucking... Is that Wikipedia article up about them? Read that article. It's got pretty much all the points you need to know about the two of them. I've never heard of these in my life. But apparently we've always been wrong. These two guys, when they were assassinated, they actually didn't die. One of them didn't die for a couple of weeks and the other one died eight days later. So they, there was no you know, perceived conspiracy happening there. They were able to, you know, say goodbye to their loved ones and all of that. And this, James Garfield didn't die from his wounds until 11 weeks later. And if we also look into who killed him, the guy's name was Charles Gitto. And he was believed to be bipolar and a little bit crazy on account of the syphilis, okay? And it looks like his motivations here was because God told him to do it. So there's kind of nothing really dodgy there to talk about or, or keep in the public's mind. Your other mate over here, William McKinley, he was also shot dead in an attempt carried out by Leon Chiglos. And he identified as an anarchist and he saw the government as being responsible for an imbalance in wealth in 1901 America. Glad they straightened things out. So what is really causing the Mandela effect? Because I hear a lot about it's satanic or it's Do you even know what the meaning of somebody made it happen? Is? This is not apocalypse. human made. Is the unveiling? It's not the end we of the world. We have seven years of this. Armageddon is the We don't the have end of the seven world. years of the knowledge is being given to Armageddon us by happens an extent that we can't even understand completely. We are in tribulation. We need to understand the next seven years. We are not CERN. It's run not by the soul, wave not a battery. We are more powerful we than have anything more control like that. than they do. We are the truth and we are the light. They are the darkness. They spread lies. I spread truth. I spread truth. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's been several days since I filmed this and I needed some time to compose my thoughts so that I could articulate my ideas in a way that would not come across like this. Oh. Fucking retard. I'd like to end this episode by speaking directly to the Mandalites who believe, hand on heart, center or left of your chest, whichever is true to the reality that you're from believe that the mandala effect is completely real. It is you fine folk that I'd like to address this statement to. Do you really want this man to represent your community? This piece of genuine shit who has lied and misled you in almost every aspect of this video alone. If there is a truth, it is not this man to lead you to it. This man has taken your hopes and your dreams and is feeding them and pushing your beliefs to the point of obscurity. I beseech you, people of the internet, if you are subscribed to I Am Laszlo, I will leave a link in the description below so you can visit his page and unsubscribe from him now. We need to remove the pillars that the innocent and naive have placed underneath him. Remove the platform from which he has ascended on the ladder of your faith to voice his salacious lies. Now that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I also just want to caution people who have been infuriated by this video. If it is towards Laszlo, before you go to Laszlo's page to blast him with hate, two things. One, he is still a real person, so you still have to give him some respect in that regard. Don't, you know, go and do something stupid. And two, just in case he is a giant troll, don't feed him with any of your time or effort. Go outside, read a book, eat an ice cream, do something productive. Actually, you know what? Go watch Brass Eye. That show is awesome, and I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. That's everything that wraps up another video. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.